Here we have a craft made Piccolo ceiling fan. I thought for some reason that this was a 29 inch fan, but I'm now reading some things that it's a 30 inch fan, so I I no longer really know what it is, but we could measure it and find out. And remove all doubt. It's a 30. It's a 30 inch ceiling fan. This ceiling fan has probably the steepest blade pitch I've ever seen. I think it's 25 degrees. Where's the information here? That's just a warning. Or something useful. That's also a warning. Here's something useful. So it's from August of 2021. It is model YU-C42CF P130. P130 is what's on the box. Um, the fan is 0 0.5 amps, made in China. Woo, there it is. Okay. This is the oiled bronze, I think it's called, finish. It's very nice. With dark oak blades. This camera is picking up the lighting much better than the Go's Pro camera does. Although the picture does look kind of noisy on the preview screen, which means it's utilizing a very high ISO, which is not going to give us the best picture quality. So we still need to improve the lighting around here, but this isn't bad for this video. So I got two of these here, which I intend to install in the hallway with hopes that uh, mostly during the winter time, these will move the heat around nicely. Let's go ahead and start it off on the high. Gets up to speed pretty fast. It's a 153 by 10 motor. Very small motor. But it's also a small fan. The air noise is just about non-existent. This is a very, very quiet fan. There's this ever so slight hum. And I would say that slight hum is actually more audible than the air noise. There is practically no air noise. Let's take a look at the power information. We're testing at 118.8 the volts. We have 0 0.36 amps, which is considerably lower than the 0 0.5 it's claimed to draw. 43 to watts with a power factor of 1. So, how is the air flow? Well, I have to admit I'm unimpressed. It's solid. It's kind of what I would expect for a typical 30 or 32 inch fan but it's not much more it also isn't really going that fast I don't think it's going much faster than a basic 52 inch fan a little bit but not much I don't think it's doing more than 200 and like let's see It might be going around 275 RPM, so it's, it's a little faster than a, a standard 52 inch fan, but it's not anything crazy. In comparison to like one of those cheapo 30 inch huggers, or even something a little better like a Minuet 2 from Hampton Bay, I don't think that this moves much more air than that. If any, I think it's pretty much the same. It's definitely quieter, which is where the advantage of the steeper blade pitch comes into play. 
I really thought this was going to blast out air like no, like we've never seen before, but it really just, it doesn't. It's not disappointing in terms of airflow, but it's not off the charts like I had thought. Uh, in terms of circulation, it's actually doing pretty good. I can feel the air moving around quite a bit. I can feel the air moving across the floor on the other side of the room. So for the size, it's actually doing pretty good in here. Yeah, I can I can feel air moving all the way on the other side of the room. Not bad. And it's so quiet. It runs really smooth. Very little vibration. Slight shake, but nothing, nothing beyond an acceptable margin of error. That blade pitch is really something. If you use the clock of the blades, you can kind of judge how fast it's going. It's really not going that fast for a fan this size. It pushes good air, don't be mistaken. This is a pretty solid fan. But it's just not off the charts. Let's see what the CFM rating is. It claims to move... Oh, see this is the fake rating. 1,593 but I think that's that stupid newer rating which is like a some kind of average of the speeds or something which is complete nonsense I think on high it claims to move just over 2,000 CFM doesn't seem to be listing it in, this, in the manual well, there's, I mean, there's a website or something I'm sure that you can go to, to to get that information if you want it. If I can find it with ease, I'll post it into the video box, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it because nobody's going to read it anyways. Yeah, it is moving pretty good air. I can feel air moving all around the studio. Not bad. And the noise level is very nice. All right, let's go. Is this all blurry? Uh, this see, this is why I use the the Ghost Pro for ceiling fan videos because the focus doesn't have a problem. This looks like it's blurry to me. A lot of autofocus cameras do have problems with ceiling fans. All right, let's go down to the medium. Nice metal. Pole fob it says craft made on there. So at this point, the, uh, the there's a very very slight motor hum, but the air noise is completely inaudible. It's still sending down a decent amount of air. Our power information is now. 0 0.25 amps, 21 the watts with a power factor of 0 0.7. I can still feel a decent amount of air moving around. This would definitely do pretty well for itself in a smaller room. I would say maybe like uh 8x8 room this would work good for. I've noticed in recent times the charts that these manufacturers are putting out for the size of the fan and corresponds to the size of a room. The size of the room seems to just keep going up and up and up. Whereas now we're claiming that 52 inch fans are good for 20 by 20 rooms which is huge. And yet the irony is that the fans are getting weaker and weaker. So how how the fans move less air but cover more space, that doesn't make any sense to me. Alright, I'll put this down to low. And the 
the motor has become pretty much inaudible. This runs really quite slow for a fan this size. This is maybe around 100 RPM. Maybe even a little bit less. It's still pushing a notable amount of air, but not as much as I would have thought. I guess the effect of the pitch is minimized because the blades are so short. If this was a 50 inch fan, the amount of airflow would be astronomical. On low, we have 0 0.16 amps, 0 0.9 the watts, with a power factor of 0 0.48. It doesn't draw a lot of power at all. Running these continuously in the hallway through the winter time will not run up the light bill by any significant quantity. I can't still feel air moving around. It's it's not much and it kind of comes in waves, but it is still there. And one of the things I don't quite understand about this fan is we have like three or four foot lead wires coming out of it. We have the security cable and the manual says to connect it to 12 gauge wire. And those all sound like commercial specifications to me. So I don't know, maybe these were not marketed for for home use and it was more intended for commercial. I don't know. Didn't take long to stop, but that's just because the blades are so small and there's so much air resistance. So these are still under manufacture. I bought this in 2021, but they're still available today. They're expensive. They're like 160 something dollars. But it seems like a good product. And cosmetically, it's very nice for something made today. I would have preferred different motor vents if I could choose them. But for uh, a product still under manufacture, I have no complaints about the cosmetics. This is one of the nicest looking ceiling fans available today, by far. So maybe uh, I'll put the second one in here and we'll do a dual install of these in here because it might be some time before I get around to getting the hallway situation taken care of. So maybe we'll put them in here and do a dual video of them in here and then we'll move them into the hallway.